next thing that you need to do to get this visa on arrival to come in, into Egypt easily, like, like so easy. Because I have so many people that wanted to come here. Like I, I'm not forcing people. I'm just giving what I think I can give out. You understand? You know, you can land in this country in the next two weeks. Yemi, yeah, how come? How is it gonna happen? How, 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 how? So, just sit, relax, and you know what? Let's get the video started. You were my love. I gave you everything. I took my time. Felt like you needed it. Hello, my beautiful people. How are you doing? I hope I meet you all in the best way ever. It's your girl that pushes back against your screen. My name is Yemi, and I am filming from Cairo, Egypt. How are you guys doing? Yemi lovers, I hope you guys are doing amazingly well. It's been a while we did a sit down video. Yes, today is all about information, and I wouldn't want to. Um, waste our time here I want us to get the information and let's go straight to the point do you know that you can come to Egypt with visa on arrival all you need to do is to get your passport buy a ticket and boom you land in this country boom and you enter into this country boom and you start working in this country boom and you are getting your money <laughs> okay let me be serious the things and the step that you need to follow is just yeah, so I have like four people that have come pa this past week through visa on arrival this past week. They are four guys. They are four. They are those that have come to this country before and um, they come back in. And how did they come? These through visa on arrival route. So how are you going to get this? How are you going to do this? So let me start giving you the step by step that you need to follow and let's get the video started. All you need to do is obtain your visa on arrival at immigration kiosk here in Cairo Airport. How easy is that? So the one thing that you need to do is, you know, we all know that whenever we are traveling, our passport is very important. Make sure that your passport has six month validity on it, you know, six months. And if you think your visa is almost expired, I guess you need to get a new, mm -hmm. A new passport the next thing you are going to do is just to book your ticket yes check maybe the, you can you can come in the next two weeks you can come next week it depends on how there is money huh so you don't need any agent to do this for you you bought your ticket but i would recommend to you that you need to fly with egypt airline that will be best for you and it will guarantee you of getting your visa on arrival okay yeah, after having all these that your passport is ready and you have booked your ticket and the next thing is just to, you know, you have booked your ticket the day you want to fly, just fly, okay? Fly. And when you reach the airport, what are the necessities they are going to ask you? What are the things that you need to do? They like said earlier on, walk to, into immigration kiosk in, in Cairo airport, okay? So what you need to do is just to line up with those that want to get visa on arrival you will see it on top like visa on arrival that's where you have to go on line into and they will ask you some questions because you want to visit for 30 days you know they are going to give you 30 days visa i want you to know that so they are going to give you a 30 day visa and they will ask you what do you come in here to do just tell them that you come here for tourists they may ask you um where do you really want to visit you know you need to google where exactly you'd love to visit if you have a dream visiting egypt already maybe it's maybe pyramid it's maybe but you may say you have to say something inside the cairo because if you want to say luxor or alexandra there are airports over there that you can land in also so they will think that why don't you just land in uh, alexandra or land in luxor so just look for something that is tourism like a tourism area in egypt that you want to visit so and i want to tell you that to make everything easy for you you need to book hotel or airbnb so just for them to think that you are actually visiting as a tourist you understand what i mean this will make it more easy and smooth for you so you may ask that how am i going to um apply for a uh, hotel online and all that you can book hotel online without paying and you will have all the you know all the documents you understand that you really want to visit but don't tell them that you want to come in here to work it is you that know that when you come in it may be after five years that you will go back and um for resident families that video is going to pop up right here so go and check it out so you will know ways or routes to get resident permits here in egypt so with that i'm going to move to the next thing that you need to do so they will give you application form whereby you need to fill up 
everything like your names and you know things um things you come here to do those are the things that they will be asking it's just like a tips of what they are going to ask you and they may ask you to provide some documents which document is going to be your ticket and your hotel the hotel that you book and and you may be lucky they may not even ask you for all that you understand what i mean but what we guarantee you more and more i'm repeating it what we guarantee you more and more is to fly in egypt airline you understand what i mean egypt airline we guarantee you being granted visa on and for sure for sure your ticket is going to be true and flu okay you pay for true and flu all this is going to give them more assurance that you are going back to your country so you are going to pay for true and flu you don't pay for one way ticket okay after filling the form congratulations you are going to pay for your visa on arrival which is just you want to know 25 us dollars only that's how much you're going to pay you don't need any agent to do this like i'm telling you you don't need any agent you can do this by yourself you understand where i'm it's so simple you just have to follow this step and you will you will definitely get your visa after they told you to go and pay for your visa and you pay for your visa and congratulations welcome to egypt Yeah, me lovers for all this to be successful for us like if you want to come i repeat you need to fly with egypt airline like i've been saying earlier like you need to for a uh, fly with egypt airline this is going to guarantee you 100 percent of getting your visa on arrival which is going to cost you 25 us dollar only so after you you are out of the airport you should be having someone waiting for you right? we just don't jump into flight and saying we are coming you need to have someone that will be like you'll be planning with here that is ready to accommodate you and hmm, if you have a friend here you cannot surprise a friend that you are coming you need to let them know that you are coming at so 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 time because you know every one of us do work so you need to let them know and you need to know that you will pay for bill. You will pay your bill. Either you live in the house or you don't live in the house. I mean, in the apartment with your friend, you will pay gas bill, electricity bill, water bill, and all that stuff. I, we pay for all this. And the other things I want you to um, know is that there is language barrier. So you don't come to airports and just be roaming around and you don't know next things to do. That's why I'm telling you this, that you need to have people in here that will help you that we accommodate you okay so language barrier there is language barrier because you cannot just stand and asking people that where is so 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 and where is so 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 huh, huh, huh. <laughs> you're gonna feel disappointed that they cannot speak fluent english to be honest with you they cannot speak english so you need to be aware unless you are visiting other arab country or you have already worked in other arab countries that you can communicate a bit with them it's okay but if you don't speak any other language than English, it's going to be difficult. My husband is an example. <laughs> I remember a day my husband went to buy a salt, went to buy salt in the market. It took him over two hours for him to be able to get the salt. Yes. He called, he has to call me to ask that, what is salt in Arabic? Like it can be so funny. That day, he was there, he said, he, he, when he called me, he was like, I've been here for over two hours and I told them that I want salt and nobody ha knew what I want. Like, they are just ask, they are just bringing different things without bringing out salt for him. So because the guy that does sell things knows that he's my husband, well, how he communicates with him, he's just like, like, call your mujerim, call your wife and let us know what you want so it is when they call me and i said it is called mel so it's called mel then it's called flu like like that so there is language barrier that that one you need to have it at the back of your mind if you are coming into it. people may ask that how much is a ticket and all that you know i don't work with airlines and it depends on when you want to fly the, the earlier it is the higher the price you understand what i mean so you should bear that in mind so yeah i have come to the end of the video thank you all so much for watching i hope you get one or two information from the video if you mm -hmm. so don't forget to like the video and uh, i will see you guys next time in my next video i love you all bye